Hi, readers. Mr. Loney here. I'm in GetEpic.com, and I'm looking for a series book, and I found one called The Major Apes. So I thought I would try one of these, and I think it's best to start with number one so you get to know the characters when you're reading a series book. So let's try it out. The Major Apes, Battle of the Bands. A lot of times I like to do a sneak peek and kind of look at the pictures and the chapters first to see if it looks like a good fit for me. This one looks like a fun book. I think I'll try reading chapter one. Chapter one, the perfect idea. <clears throat> Hit it, Jasmine, said Scarlet. She tossed her braids. Beads clicked against one another. You got it, I said. I put my fingers on the keyboard. It has five keys that do not work. No sound comes out of them. We have a piano upstairs that doesn't have any broken keys, but I wanted to be in the basement where I could jam with my friends. Wait, Becca called. Can you play an E first? Sure, I said. I found the note. The keyboard hummed a low E. Becca twisted a peg on her guitar. She plucked a string over and over. It finally sounded like the keyboard. Then she turned the other strings. Maggie sat behind my dad's old drum set. She twirled one of her drumsticks. It spun out of her hand and hit the floor. Oops, she said. I'll get it, Scarlet yelled. She handed the stick to Maggie. Then Scarlet began warming up her voice. Do, mi, so, do, mi, so, do, she sang. We don't have a mic in the basement, but Scarlet's aunt has one. She is a singer. Wow. At my house, Scarlet sings into my hairbrush. She likes to practice with something in her hand. Ready, said Becca. Me too, called Maggie. I was born ready, Scarlet said confidently. Here we go, I said. I played the notes in a chord, one at a time. Then I moved on to another chord. I tried to keep the beat even. Maggie took up the beat on her kick drum. Becca one watched my hands. She strummed her guitar to fit the rhythm. At first, Scarlet listened. Then she sang, once I was inside a box, there I met a crazy fox. He told me I had chicken pox. Maggie bent over and giggled. Her foot slid off the pedal for, a, for the kick drum. Scarlet turned to face her singing. Maggie, we need that beat or else you have to smell my feet. Maggie fell on the floor laughing. She rolled on the carpet. Her red curls spilled around her head. I laughed so hard my stomach hurt. Five minutes, Jasmine, my mom called down. Okay, I called back. I turned to my friends. Sorry, guys, I have to go eat dinner. No problem, Maggie said. She stood up. I need to study for our science test. You already did, I said. Maggie tried or tied her sneakers. I just need to make sure I get an A. Becca unzipped a soft guitar-shaped bag. She put her guitar inside. Hey, she said, my brother gave me his old gig bag. She held it up. Cool, right? I look like a real musician. You are a real musician, Scarlet said. She gave me back my hairbrush. We are. We went up the stairs together. Do you want to come over tomorrow, I asked my friends. After I get home from Chinese school. Of course, said Becca. Perfect, said Maggie. Always, said Scarlet. Chapter two, a real band. After I read the first chapter and I like it, I continue the book. But sometimes I put the book down. What do you think? Thumbs up or thumbs down?